Hello and welcome back. Episode 10 of the third season of Rise of the Villains. Uh, it was a bit of a deflating episode last time out. I self-admittedly took a couple of days off from filming it because... Well, that's the nature of the game, isn't it? It's the emotions you feel when you're getting engrossed in a game like this. Uh, but yeah, here we are back again. We're trying to work out what team we're going to play against Everton in the league. Uh... I'm pretty much stuck in certain positions though because of fitness issues. I think I think we'd already picked this team and I just didn't film it if I'm honest, so we'll just go with that. Uh league game. And it's Everton. You'll obviously get to see How we're doing? Whew. I'm not sure what to go with. Let's let's do that. Yeah, I'm a bit unsure then. So yeah, this is uh, the Villa team plodding along a bit this season. I think a bit of uh, a bit of work in the summer is needed from the transfer business wise. Uh, Onana is still going to be my starter. Matty Cash is probably still going to be my starter. Terrell's my starting left back. Centre backs I'm kind of happy with. Midfield I think I need some work on. I have I have lost uh, Adil for a long period of the season though, which doesn't help. Uh, Bettini is obviously indispensable, but he's in one of his famous uh, patches of poor form at the minute. But his goals are vital to me. So he will not be going anywhere, hopefully. But I think the midfield and the kind of free behind needs a little bit of work. So we'll have a look at strengthening in that. Tom Davis fires one in. One nil Everton. Who is this, by the way? I want to check. Hmm. Okay. Again, I haven't got anyone that I can uh, bring on. Keenan Davis, that's about it. Oh, now my cash is injured, that makes things worse. Can we do this? Can we do... This? Can we do... Um, this is quite tricky. Can we do that? Keenan Davis is an anchor. <laughs> My god, it is not going well at the minute, is it? Certainly need some improvements to this team somehow. Oh, Alan's firing it in from a complete, absolute, exact angle that Davis put in from. And we're well beat here. Well beat, sinking without a trace. Again, I've got the squad, but they're just knackered. Oh, hold the bar. They rest by it for me. Well, the whistle ref. No, not a chance. Poor result, poor performance. Out of the European places. Ouch, that hurts. That does hurt. We've not been anywhere near good enough lately, but that does hurt. Cash has been a great servant. It only gets harder from here as well. We're City next. I know you're in need of a rest. Chelsea, Leicester, interesting. Yeah, again, there's nothing much we can really do. Just keep going. There's not a lot I can really change mid. Uh, 
mid season when I've got no money whatsoever. Like 40 grand by having the hole by 112. That needs fixing. Rams is going well, which is what I wanted to see. Christine seems to be doing okay. He might, he'll probably come in as a squad left back next season. Because I could do with a cover. Uh, and it'll be whole grown as well. He's come through the ranks nicely. There's uh, nothing worth doing in this generation, so window for me. I'll make a, I'll have a look if there's anyone I can poach in a loan, like I did similar to last year. I'm sure I've checked this, and there was no one of any real kind of walkers at Real Madrid, my own my. You suppose one's a bit too old for me. Jack Cooper is someone maybe kind of is a bit old. Yeah, there was no one really that I like the look of the Do that, have a quick look. Calvin Phillips requested transfers in Chenko. The chance I'm a bit of thought that is the Pavard at City. Oh my god. Yeah, the wages. The wages are the stumbling block, which I could have told you would be the case. Yeah, I just don't have, don't have the wiggle room in the wages to make any kind of deal to be honest which is a shame but what can I do we're still in the Champions League we're in a Carabao Cup final it's not a completely shocking season and it's just the league forms tailed off as you kind of expect when you're in Europe but again by choice I did loan out a couple of players in Diaz and uh, Ramsey that could have stayed and played a part because I wanted to continue the development rather than stinting it not stunting it is probably the better term. Who's been transfer listed? Rebich. Yeah, he's a little he's a little bit inexpensive. Hang on, did I read that right? Rainer. Wasn't what I wanted to do, but let me do it. Oh, strange one. Yes, I'm going to pay 101 million for Giovanni Rainer. Huh? No, because I need you. It makes no sense to just let you go. City and Chelsea, glorious. That's not really good enough. He's probably going to kick off at me now, but... It'd have to be a much better offer for me to consider. I've moved on to Hoiberg. It'd have to be a much better offer for me to consider so late in the window when there's just no replacement I can get. He looks interesting. For a reasonable price, seemingly, too. But yeah, for me, this season, now I'm just I'm just wanting to get into the Champions League. I'm not... The league's not doing it for me. When you've got the glamour of European football, that's just all you're bothered about. Right, can I actually field a fully fit team now, please? What do you reckon? 
Cash is suspended and not fit, but we'll just we'll play Konza. We've got the luxury of being able to play both now. Was uh, Mark Mingus injured? That makes that decision easy. <laughs> Do want to play him? Do like that pairing? I always have. Bailey, Bandia, Werner, Virginia, Vici, Samson, Elisa, and we'll go with that. At least it's a fully fit team. It's better than nothing, isn't it? Timo, Timo, Timo. Doing four pass. See, this time last season we were on that incredible run, went to win and beat City. I think they hammered us in the game earlier this season. Absolutely hammered us as far as I remember. Can we nick some points off them at the Etihad? It's not started well because that's going to be a penalty. Whilst we put his hands on Diaz illegally. Lodowski misses the penalty. That's something you don't see every day. Can we actually build on that little, little bit of momentum? Or, or let's see. Kimmich, Jesus, it's a star studded team there. Kimmich, Lewandowski, and Haaland are just three that I've noticed. Ridiculous levels of talent. Rodrigo's still playing for him. Ruben Diaz. Borden, obviously Bernardo Silva. Pedro Porro's gone back. Come on. Come on, Villa. You're better than this. Come on. But again, yeah. Just waiting for the Champions League knockouts with Salzburg coming up. And we've got the Carabao Cup final with Wolves. I feel like I played Wolves a ridiculous amount of times on the save, but I seem to consistently get them in cups. But how Silver puts one in, a bit scrappy, but City lead. Unfortunately for me, Man City 1 0 Villa, half time. Yeah, I mean, we haven't played too badly, but it's just City, in it? You can't really be too critical if you're losing 1-0 against Man City. Konza. Oh, Alan snuck in for his 27th goal of the season. This one looks all but over. Timo's not really had any kind of effect there on left wing. Tinny has not really done anything either in all terms. Not giving any of at least same minutes up front. My dear's had a shocker. Yeah, it's not gone well this. It has not gone well at all. Could have been worse, we could have got absolutely hammered. I mean, Bailey, good ball, good goal, pull one back, get a bit of respect back. Marcus Edwards as well. City have scored again though, my god. Wouldn't even let us have a consolation of. Uh, Losing by only a goal. Again, there's there's nothing really I can say. Might as well. Uh, there's no point going in on them. I 
isn't to Dortmund, that's interesting. Good sign in that for Dortmund. Money in the bank still, which is one of the important things on this game. So we'll get the Chelsea game done in this episode, but yeah, I couldn't afford it. I don't know what you want me to say. Oh, come on. I tried to sell you. Wolves came in with a subpar offer. For Sansa, nope. Gotta keep it as it is, then I'm afraid. No real point in uh, Sansa being in it anyway. He's one that'll be off in the summer, hopefully. A bit of a clear out. get the Chelsea game, let's just have a quick look what we've got coming up after the Chelsea game City again and then Sheffield United before Salzburg oh it's a tough tough run of games tough tough run of games agile Chelsea yeah bloody hell going in on them Right, game day. I think this is our game in hand as well, which is less than I do. Cons are going to be replaced straight away with cash, like for like. I'm going to mix it up a little bit. Just ever so slightly. I'm going to go with that. Detinia dropping to the bench. Just need to snap his poor form, really, don't we? And get the old Vitinia back. Anyway, onwards and upwards. Buendia, Bailey, Bosby, Maganga, Buendia, Edwards. Oh, I thought he was in there. I thought he was in there. Bods with him to consistently have good games at this level, but then you've got the argument that he's uh, he should be really. He's a good player, Bods. I'd, I'd I'd hoped he could click to being a centre back a little bit better than he has because he could be a really good centre back, but he certainly does okay in anchor. In my opinion, anyway. Well, Chelsea over the bar. I'll get a goal kick. Mendy. Oh gosh. Topia, Manganga. What a ball on Bailey's absolutely missed the sitter. What a ball that was. My god, that's annoying. Mendy, punts. Werner, cash. My weird, 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 weird save, but it worked. Wendia. Osby. Macau. Macau. I'm 
Ganga. Ah, oh, loses possession of our players. Oh, well defended though, so I'm sure. Looks like we're playing some a little bit better stuff, but I know this isn't an easy game. Lukaku's there again though. He's missed a lot of chances today. He's missed a lot of chances. We could have been already 2 0 down, really. It'd have likely been a fair scoreline for me. Come on. Oh. <laughs> Kaku taps him. Good assist by Chill. Well, I'll agree with that. Was a good assist. Cash. Come on, Cash. Got one on the plate for us. Yes, Marcus Edwards bags the equaliser. Two in two for him. That was an important goal. Burner's not the best of games. Yeah, that was an important goal for us, that, I think. Come on, Villa. Ah, Broha. Only his second goal of the season. I don't think he's been playing regularly. Well, it can't have been one of those kind of returns. If he is, he's not a very good player. Oh, time's ticking away. No. Fire blade. Cash. No, nothing to be. It's in here, it's going to be offside, isn't it? Don't think we deserve that either. Oh, he's been given. Nick's a point of the death. Maybe something more positive going on, going forwards, but still. We're still now three points outside of the European spots. But we'll uh, we'll leave it here because we've got a 10 day gap before the same game. So yeah, thank you for joining me. It's, I know it's a bit, it's gone down a little bit again at the minute, but that's, that's the nature of football, lows and highs. Uh, hopefully you'll join me again soon for the next one. Uh, so yeah, I'll see you then, hopefully.